Hi, this is Stacy with Lily Bean Crafts by Stacy. Welcome back. And if it's your first time, thanks for stopping by. So this week's tutorial is going to be a quick one. Um, I just wanted to show this tumbler that I made for a friend of mine. And I started off with a 16 ounce travel mug that I got from the Tipsy Magnolia. I just love the style of this. She was looking for a coffee tumbler, but she wanted it to be smaller with a handle and she wanted to be able to put it in her car. So I started off by spray painting it with my Color Shop paints with a sage green and with a pink color, and I'll list the actual names in the description. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do an ombre with it. So I started off with sage from Chase Ray Creations on the top. Started by lightly just putting a little bit on because I didn't wanna to go too crazy with my ombre like I normally do. And on the bottom, I went with peony from Chase Ray Creations, and I also added that lightly, blending the ombre in. Now I'm going back in with my sage again, tapping that off, went a little bit heavier that time, and for the second pink color, I'm going with Make It Pink from Peachy Olive Glitter. It's a fine glitter, and the peony was a chunkier mixed blend, so I just wanted to add a fine cut so that I made sure I got good coverage on it. And then I went ahead and I tapped that off and I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of parchment paper because it does have the chunky elements in there and I'm just going to just apply the parchment really gently on there to make sure that there's no pokey bits and to make it a little bit easier when I do my epoxy method. And then I'm gonna go in with my glitter glue and I let that cure or dry for about three to four hours. And here I am going in with my first coat of epoxy. I'm using about 25 mLs of my Flynn Sisters Fast Set Epoxy. And I let that dry for three to four hours and then I immediately went in with another um, 10 mLs, 10 to 15 mLs of the Fast Set Epoxy and I let that go for three to four hours until it was completely dry and I could start adding the transfer uh, floral design that I'm gonna be applying to this haven't done so yet come check out my lily bean crafters community facebook group i will go ahead and link that in the description friend asked me to find her um, some roses that were like a peachy pink color so i remembered that i had gotten some of these transferred transfers from Southern Belle Glitter and decided to use them and I'm going to kind of show you how I apply them. Whenever you get the um, transfers it always comes with this little wood stick to help you apply it. And the most important thing with transfers is once you stick it on you cannot move it. So make sure that it's in the position that you want it to be and you really have to press it down and I like the wood stick because it really helps to get it all pressed down so that as I'm pulling it up, I'm not pulling up any of the actual transfer. And I'm just gonna kinda show you how I brought it all around the upper part of the tumbler.
She asked me to put on her and her husband's name and the day that they were married. So I just went ahead and printed that out on my Cricut. I did make an offset. I made it so that the bottom of the offset, the thicker part of the offset, was the textured champagne um, vinyl that I get from Tech Wrap Crafts. And then on the top, I did the offs or the actual letters in white. I just thought that it would make the color, the white pop more if I did it that way. And when I apply letters or anything like this, like an SVG onto a, a tumbler that has any curves to it, I like to do it in small pieces. Otherwise, I feel like it just gets a little bit too much of a curve to it. So I just personally like to apply each name individually. I'm just going to go add a few more of the transfers to the bottom of it just to balance it all out. And I'm gonna take my time with this because I am going to be bringing the transfer up onto the curve. But once again, with transfers, this is great. You can actually bring it up onto a curve and it's pretty easy to do. And then I'm gonna go right in with my next set of epoxy. I'm not going to seal this at all. The transfers, in my opinion, don't need it. And I'm going in with 10 mLs of my Flynn Sisters Fast Set Epoxy. I'm gonna let this dry for three to four hours, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sand it down really good, and then go in with my last 10 mLs of my Flynn Sisters Medium Viscosity Epoxy, and let that cure for eight to 10 hours. Now, I did add a glitter butt to the bottom of this, and I did not videotape that, but I will gladly attach one of my other videos to my description. And here is the final product. It was so pretty. She really loved the colors, and it was super easy to make. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you all again next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.